In this tutorial, I'm going to work on modeling a red billed strimmer tail, and this is a, a Caribbean bird. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you what I did. Is I took this image into Photoshop, even though this is the correct position. Usually, they perch on a tree and have very, very short feet, uh, so their body is usually close uh, to a branch. But I went ahead and spun it around and cropped it so it's a smaller image but I wanted to make it easier to uh, model. So I'm going to go ahead and get this into Maya and hopefully we'll get this into the ZBrush and we'll add some details to our bird. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead go to the front view and image plane, import image and let's see, I think I called it cropped. And there we go. Alright, so we've got our image in there, it's pretty big. So let's go ahead and create polygon cube. So, let's just go ahead and start modeling it. If you don't want the grid on there, let's go show grid. I'm just going to go ahead and size it up. But we don't, the bad thing about this, we don't know how wide the bird is. So there's going to be a lot of guesstimation with this. But hopefully, we'll be able to get some more images down the road. Alright, so I go to face. Right now I've got him pretty big. Let's just work on his proportions of his side. Go ahead and rip this off. Extrude. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is start bending this extrusion around. So we have some geometry around that I had to work with. Let's try and bring this out of our Go to vertex mode, go ahead and make a marquee. So you're grabbing both the front and the back of this. Again, just trying to find the proportions of it. And I think I saw on the male has a very long gated uh, tail feather. So this is the female. A little bit different look. Should probably be squeezing these in as we go in, but we'll do that later. Hitting G to do the last extrusion. G. Let's go ahead and go vertex. Yeah, when I do a marquee, it grabs the front and back. So what I want to do is go ahead and start creating a place extrude for the mouth, for the beak. Try to leave some room for geometry for the eyes. Get into that. Got some pretty big eyes. Let's finish off the back end. Again, it's probably we're gonna probably model these feathers separately. At least let's try to create a base. I'm gonna go like this, kind of like a football shape right here. Extrude.
fur. I think this is all feathers. Again, it's a very, very tiny bird, so the images on the internet are, are very pixelated just because it's probably taken from a, a camera from a distance. Again, these, pro these uh, proportions could be way off, but just working off this photograph. All right, so let's go ahead and start working on the top view. I'm gonna hit F to kind of size this in. What we're gonna do is just start working on creating for this. Again, we have no idea the anatomy of this bird. We really need to go in and possibly consult someone to uh, see what the right proportions are, because I do not know. I'm just guessing with this. I'm assuming this comes to a Fine point here. I'm assuming it's going to look like an airplane since it's aerodynamic. So. Again, definitely maybe check out a library book. It's coming along, I think. Just make sure it has just a nice, nice flow to it. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and start working on the mouth or the beak. Extrude. We do a lot of extrusions on this just so we have some detail. And just try to find the contours of the face here. And we'll start working on the geometry here later. Especially the eyes too. We need to have definitely some good geometry in there. It's nice and clean before we get into ZBrush. Just get thinner and thinner and thinner as we move out to the tip. Come along. I'm going to pull out the head just a little bit. I think it's going to be a little bit broader. Alright, so let's stop there, and then on the next tutorial we'll work on the eyes, a little bit of geometry in here maybe, maybe a cut in here, I think there's a split here on the beak, and then possibly start working on some feathers.